Hi everyone, it's Brenda with Creations by Baby Doll. Hope everyone is doing well today. I decided today I'm going to be doing a flip and drag on the 7x14. I'm going to put down my base coat, which is one cup house paint and one cup flow troll. And what we're going to do is we're just going to cover the canvas and the edges. And you don't want a thick coat. So we're going to try to get as much excess as we can off. And today I'm going to be using some really great paints. They are the Parage Posse paints by Christina Welch and I'll have her link down below so that you can get on there. Whoops. There we go. Malfunction. Lost the pin. <laughs> all right. Make sure we got all of our edges covered. Corners too. So today on our paints, we're going to start off with, let's see, change out my glove. That white paint just gets everywhere. cooperating so I'm just gonna go glove free <laughs> we got the galaxy blue shimmer by Praj Posse paints we got the liquid text basic light blue permanent the deco art Americana cobalt turquoise hue and the other Praj Posse is bronze chestnut bronze and I'm gonna be using this cup right here it's much easier since it's a 7 by 14 canvas. Let's get the air bubbles out. If my torch wants to... Oh no, there it goes. I think it might be time to get a new torch soon. Oh, there's a little smudge in here. That's from the float trawl. Okay, so first I'm going to start with the Galaxy Blue Shimmer. Now, that, since this is a flip and drag, you do not need that much paint. Surprisingly, a little will go a long way. Let's get some turquoise. And mostly with it being a smaller canvas, a 7 by 14. And the chestnut. All right, now my aim is to hit right in the center of the canvas with this. Yay! It all stayed in. All right, I'm going to punch a couple of holes in here because I don't want that suction effect. I want to let the air out so that the cup can glide on the base paint here. So we're going to give that a second to drain. Get it all down to the bottom because guess what I forgot to do? Spray the... Uh, hold her with the WD-40 silicone so that it releases easier and all of it comes out. Lesson learned. Okay. I think that's been good enough. Let's try to get a little air in there to help release. 
There we go. Now it's gliding on the white paint, so I'm just going to go ahead with it gliding and keep on going. Oh, a little bit more air in. Not too much air in. Don't want to lose all my paint. And you do not want to hit the canvas. The reason you want it to glide is when it hits the canvas, it leaves divots, a bare spot that you'll have to fill in. I still have some color, so I'm going to come back through. Okay. All right, looks nice and even except for a little bit right there. Let's give it a torch, get the air bubbles out, and see what might want to pop up down here. Okay, I'm going to start tilting it side to side. I want the paint to be even, and there's a couple of spots where it bunched up. All right, back to this side again. There we go. I'm going to go down a little bit, trying to stretch it out. And then go back this way. And come back down. That's pretty cool right there. I'm liking that and how it's coming down out here. All right, time for the airbrush. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray where I try to hit the edges where it'll just wisp out, sort of like it's doing here. So it's not going to need that much, I think. So forewarned, here comes the airbrush noise. And I'm just trying to barely touch those edges. I just want it to come out a little bit more. Went too far in on that one. And if you go too far, you can also shoot it back in a little and then come back out. Okay, I'm really liking this here. Let's see if I can give y'all a close-up. See, I love that blue. Ooh. Well, I hope y'all enjoy my video. Please hit the like and subscribe button down below. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you'll be aware whenever I do any more videos pop up. And what I'm doing here is don't want to forget to do my edges so that the paint doesn't keep on dripping down the sides. Well, I hope y'all have a wonderful day. Thank you for joining me and I will see you soon. Bye everyone.